Hey there, Scrap Lady again. This is uh, part two of finishing um, or re-insulating the garage ceiling, a finished ceiling. And I forgot to mention in my previous video, the garage is roughly 20 by 20, maybe 21 by 21, just if I wanted to be careful. Um, some of the channels that I opened up were not 12 inches. Some of them were a little smaller. And then one of them, because our bookshelves are in the way. I couldn't really see for sure how far that went um, and everything. So this morning we rented the uh, blow-in cellulose machine from Lowe's and um, it got off to a bit of a troublesome start um, just trying to figure out exactly how much. Basically, you don't need a super long hose. The hose was like 100 feet and we really needed like 20 or 30 feet. So we were able to um, just size it down and that made it a lot easier. And then just figuring out exactly how the machine worked and how fast it took to fill. Um, the first few channels that we filled, I thought, oh, this will be great. It'll just take two or three minutes. But we had to figure out exactly how there's kind of like a little... Stay at home mom, not a contractor. Um, a little pull out thing to adjust uh, the flow rate and how fast it's going to blow. So we kind of tinkered with that and figured things out. And um, it took us a couple channels of perfecting our technique. And then we were all able to boom, just blow right through it. No pun intended. So um, the whole thing to blow took less than three hours. Um, and that's you know, pausing because child needs something or, you know, tr stopping to troubleshoot or whatever. So it actually went um, really well. Of course, it's really easy to say that once you're all done, but it was a little bit frustrating. So just prepare yourself for a huge mess and a certain level of frustration if you've never done something like this before. Um, so my husband ended up standing on the chair and... Um, actually inserting the nozzle through each of the access panels while I loaded the machine and turned it off and on when he yelled. So you definitely need two people to do this type of thing. Um, so anyhow, <laughs> um, okay, so over here you can see I've begun the process of just putting my access panels back up where they're supposed to be. And I got some of this uh, mesh tape from Lowe's today. Um, I've never really repaired drywall like this before, so every contractor watching this is going to be cringing at how ugly this is. But um, you know what? It's the garage. No one ever really notices this. So I don't care. The important thing is that it is well insulated. And I really do... Th My goal was to get the garage ceiling up to R38, because we were able to dense pack this so well, um, I think we're going to exceed R38. Um, my calculations had shown that if I just kind of did a loose fill, I was going to go through 14 bags. And we actually used up all 20 bags. Um, just to give you an idea. And with Lowe's, you know, you're always going to want to check what your store does. But um, say if I did only use 14 bags, I can take back the remaining six and get a refund and not have to, you know, pay for the machine. I had to put down a 250 deposit on the machine for the rental. So no problem there. So anyways, you can see how my wonderful husband, um, he blew it and then... Um, I had pre-cut those little pink fiberglass sections and folded them over to kind of make a little um, barrier on top of the panel so that there wouldn't be any leaks. So you can see a little bit of the blown in cellulose kind of sticking to it. And I can always, um, you know, fine tune those if I need to as I continue along my merry way. So um, overall... Uh, we saved definitely a couple thousand dollars depending on which quote we had gone with before the cost of materials went up. Um, I'm the type where I like to research and make schematics and ask questions, get different opinions. Um, my biggest asset is time and willingness, willingness to complete projects like this. So, um... Yeah, you really have to do your homework, and most of it is prep work, because the day you bring the machine home, 
you want to have everything figured out as much as possible. And um, while my husband was blowing, there were just two areas where the, the pre-existing yellow uh, fiberglass batting had fallen and it was so far back in the channel that once it was fallen there was nothing he could do to prop it back up so I actually ended up drilling uh, or I'm sorry um, uh, jigsawing two just little circles that were just a little bit bigger than the nozzle itself and we were able just to whoop, whoop, um, fill up those voids in there and then stuff it with the pink insulation just to seal it up and make sure there are no leaks so anyhow um if this has been helpful for you please um let me know if you would like a rundown of supplies i used or um i don't know anything just please leave it in the comments um and everyone always says oh if you liked this give me a thumbs up so i guess um I guess I would really appreciate that because then I know if this is helpful or not. Because if it's not helpful and nobody in the world has this problem except for me, then um, I guess I could just delete the video. But um, thanks so much for watching and feel free to ask any questions. All right. Keep up the good work, everybody.